cat people, how are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and with this makeup look I am reviewing the Fairy Tale Fairies from Simply Posh Cosmetics! Before I start with today's makeup, let me give you some information about the palette, about the brand and everything that I know. It's the first time that I'm trying this brand. I have seen their other palette, the Citrus Punch, and I was so intrigued to try something from them, but it was kind of like orange heavy and orange, let's say, it's not my favorite color. And then I saw this color scheme right here, full of pastels, full of these whimsical eye shadows, and I thought, yeah, this is for me. So when Monolith, my favorite shop in the world, made it available, I was like, I need this in my life. And although that I have other eyeshadow palettes with pastels, I just couldn't resist. And I also love this middle row with the shifty special eyeshadows. Like to me, this is everything and you know how much I love all this in general if you're not new here. If you're new here, welcome to my channel! I hope that you will enjoy this video and all the others that are about to come. Anyway, back to the palette and let me tell you something else that I really like is that all the eyeshadows... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I need some coffee now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect, let me continue. All the eyeshadows are magnetic and this means that you can pop them out and rearrange them and basically you can create your own color story in the way that you would like to see the colors. In my opinion, I think that this is perfect. I don't feel like I want to rearrange anything, that I want to remove any eyeshadow and add something else. But if you want to do that, it is possible with this palette. Of course, it's cruelty free and it's also, as it says on the box, it's mineral oil free paraben free and talc free if you're interested in any of this and I feel that after all this we are ready to dive into the palette okay so let me start priming my eyelids with Fenty Beauty and Pro Fator primer and let me tell you some things about today's inspiration well basically the two words that I have in my mind is winter in the summer and what I mean by this is to create kind of like a rainbow pastel something cut crease is the main idea and then add some cake liner in order to create some nice snowflakes but with pastel colors so the aim here is to have a cut crease from the first row using the pastels then use some of the corresponding shimmery shifty eyeshadows which i really really want to know if i'm gonna like them and then I'm gonna turn off the camera, I'm gonna take my cake liner and I'm gonna create snowflakes! Oh my god, I'm getting so excited for this! I saw this makeup look on Pinterest, but unfortunately I couldn't find the original creator, that's why I cannot mention it now, but just keep in mind that originally it's not my idea. Oh, I noticed here that the mirror still has the plastic on, so are you ready for some ASMR with me? Okay, let's remove it. <gasps> nice! It's always so nice. Well, the plan here is to start from this eyeshadow, which is called Whimsical, and then I'm gonna go to Dreamy, and then I'm gonna end up with Storybook and Fantasy. The idea is to start with a fluffy brush and I want to diffuse it as much as possible because still I want to use it as a pastel. Well, I love the print here with the fairy. It's so beautiful, so magical. Wow. I'm so in love with this palette already before I even try it. The eyeshadow is performing quite nice for a pastel. Yes, I like it. I'm gonna see how it's gonna blend into the other eyeshadows, like the teal blue that I'm gonna use later on, pastel teal, <laughs> and then the blue. But all in all, I'm quite happy right now. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shadow. I decided to go straight with Dreamy and not use Pixie because I want to test how these two will blend together and I also don't want to destroy this amazing print with a fairy. No, actually the reason is that I want to test the palette. I want to give you a good review. Not good in the sense that I'm gonna say positive things, but I want to help test the palette as much as possible. And I know it's the first time that I'm trying it, so the review cannot be like a hundred percent there, 
but I want to have an opinion. Like, I want to test as many things. Okay, this is beautiful. And yes, they are blending into each other very, very beautifully. I feel that this kind of light blue is a bit weak in comparison with the previous, which is called Whimsical. But it's okay, it's a pastel at the end of the day. I'm quite happy with what I have right now. I like it. And the last color that I'm gonna use from the pastel mattes is this one, which is called Fantasy. Very, very beautiful pastel pink. Oh my God, I'm in love with this color scheme. All oh, the colors are so pretty. Look, look at it. Look at it, it's amazing. It's like a candy kingdom from a cartoon. I don't know how to describe it, but I get these vibes and it's just so beautiful. Would you like to see a candy makeup like with lollipops and stuff like that? I would be very, very interested in doing something like that. Wow. I just love, love this color and this color scheme. What do you think about it? If you had the palette, would you do something different from what I'm doing right now? Would you prefer to go with this row with the darker colors first? Now, what I'm gonna do is to apply all these colors in the opposite order at my lid here that I have space. So I'm gonna start from Fantasy, then going to Dreamy, and then going to Whimsical. And I have noticed that when I do this, and on top I apply my fix potion from Carla, and then on top I apply all the special eyeshadows. The eyeshadows are looking better, I mean the shimmery, the blue chromes and all these. And secondly, they are lasting longer. So this is a great trick if you have hooded eyes or very oily eyelids like I do, this will save you a hundred percent. Now something that I have noticed about the palette is that all the colors are blending so smoothly into the others. I mean, look there, even the pink with the green. Oh, they are so beautiful together. I love them. The light blue is still kind of weak according to my preference but it's okay all in all it's okay i don't need middle colors to blend them and the blending is effortless so this is what matters to me and before i do anything else i would like to tell you this could be a look by itself without having all the shimmery eyeshadows of course this is a review video i need to try as many as possible but if this was not the case i think it's quite pretty to leave it like this and leave your pastel fantasy i like it this is also a makeup idea i'm ready to dive into the special eyeshadows and i'm feeling so excited i'm ready to live this pastel fantasy dream so the first one is gonna be this which is called mythical i'm gonna try the special eyeshadows both with brushes and with my fingers as i'm always doing when i'm applying makeup and the first one is gonna be with a brush to see how it is applying and how it's working with the brush then I'm gonna spray the brush to see if it's gonna be better or not I'm gonna try the palette in many many ways so to give you a better and more accurate review as possible okay look how shifty it is I have said in other videos that in order to understand if a shifty eyeshadow is a good quality one, the criterion, at least for me, is how much space does it need to start having the shifts, to start see the duochrome effect. When you don't need a lot of space to show, then usually you have a great eyeshadow. And this is the case here. Like I have literally applied just a little bit here and I can see already the sparkles. My God, that's beautiful. I love it. I just love it. So, so beautiful. Of course, the ultimate test will be the creasing. I'm so curious to see if they're gonna crease or not. But if they're not creasing, I mean, I have found another favorite here. So far, so good. I'm really loving this palette. Now I'm gonna apply wishes with my finger to try this method. It's a very, very soft feeling, shimmery eyeshadow. Now let's see. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the shift. Oh my God, it's so, so pretty. Wow. I'm mega impressed, really, because the palette was costing around 50 euros for 18 eyeshadows, and I think it's a good price for all these special eyeshadows that it offers. I mean, 
you have Bentley Rain, which I have bought but I haven't tried yet. For 21 eyeshadows you pay 95 euros. So I mean the price here is really really good. Wow. I think in the future I wanna buy the icy berries it's called. I don't remember with the berries in the eyes, which has mainly reds and blues. I think that this is gonna be an amazing winter color scheme. Wow. Oh my god, I cannot stop looking at the mirror, they are so shifty. Can you see them on camera? Wow! If you cannot see them, I will definitely have some pictures at my Instagram account. My Instagram is catladyandigoni and I will be very very happy to see you there. I upload a lot of makeup looks and I upload stuff that I cannot really film for YouTube because I don't have that much time, unfortunately. So if you enjoy my makeup looks and if you want to see more, please go there, visit me there. And of course, if you decide to recreate any of the looks that I'm making, I would be very very happy to see pictures of your looks as well. Moving on to this eyeshadow which is called Sparkles and I'm feeling so happy when I'm looking at it. I don't know, it's something with the color. I like this kind of grass green, I don't know, but it's such a beautiful eyeshadow now i'm gonna test it with another brush and i'm gonna apply it here at the outer part of my eyelid it's beautiful it's so beautiful do you like this look so far what do you feel do you like this kind of like candy vibes or fairy vibes that you're getting i mean that's definitely a vibe right so now for the bottom part of my eyelid i'm gonna do exactly the same order i'm gonna start with whimsical dreamy and fantasy in order to create this pastel rainbow thing then i'm gonna turn off the camera i'm gonna add the snowflakes and wait for me because i'm coming back to tell you my final review about the palette and now it's time for the greek word of the day well the palette name is fairy tale fairies i have already told you the word for fairies so today i'm gonna tell you the word for fairy tale and in greek we say paramithi say with me pa ra mi thi paramithi as always i'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word paramithi or actually tell me the word in your own native language what do you think about the snowflakes do you like them do you think that they fit the look i like them quite a lot and i think that i gave a twist to this color story now when it comes to the rest of my face on my cheeks i have used the liquid blush from colourpop in the shade cherish you and as a highlighter i have used from Udensai, the H105 Azura Shine. This is from the Sol Mone collection. Now it's time to do my lips and I'm planning to do something pastel-ish, something kind of blotted. So I'm gonna start from this pencil right here. This is from NYX in the shade Flower. Then on top I'm planning to apply one of those two. This is from the series Just a Tint from Colourpop. I don't think that you can find them nowadays because was limited edition or something but i'm sure that specifically on color group you can find a lot of similar stuff with this maybe i'm gonna go with this one because it's a little bit more cool tone and on top i'm gonna use from indie beauty their lip gloss in the shade oh my god why is it so difficult to find the shades okay i found it agnes so first of all pencil this one, the tint, and then gloss. Let's do it! All right, time for a mini review slash first impressions from the palette. Here we're having an amazing palette. I'm so, so happy with the quality of the mattes that I have tried. Yes, I haven't tried the darker mattes, but I have a feeling that they will be pretty nice. Of course, I'm gonna come back in my collective review to give you some additional thoughts, some more details about the palette. I'm gonna use it a bit more and for sure I'm gonna update you at my shorts or at my TikTok. Also, when it comes to the shimmers, they are working perfectly. You don't only have to use fingers. I mean, if you want to use your fingers, they are 
absolutely stunning but you can use just a brush without even make it wet and you can have a result like this i am amazed the palette is wonderful the color scheme is so beautiful and here as you can see i have zero creasing so far something that i really really appreciate about the palette so for me right now it's a big yes big thumbs up i don't think that my opinion will change a lot but for sure i will come back for an additional review and that was it this was our video for today thank you so so much for being here with me i appreciate you a lot a lot a lot if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and if you watched until now why not leave me a fairy emoji to celebrate the name of the palette? Well, I hope to see you at my next video. And until then, bye bye!